But then on the other hand, you've got, uh, you got stuff like, uh... You got Helifire. What type of game do you think this is? You can probably already tell. This is the one I don't... Not to be confused with Hellfire. Topland shmup. It's an exciting battle between new type submarine and hard hitting rocket and bomb equipped helicopters. All right, we're we're officially in 1980, by the way. I think we I think we're leaving 1979 behind. Uh, let's uh, let's read this. Under a starry sky, player and submarine fights off attacking helicopters with missiles and rockets. Player maneuvers submarine in eight directions, evades attack, and fires at enemy helicopters and ships. Thirty helicopters in groups of ten and four high-speed helicopters attack from different altitudes. Depth charges released by helicopters into the sea explode at determined underwater depth. Helicopters are not destroyed with the time limit. Helicopters attack in special assault pattern. The required number of helicopters destroyed, submarine surfaces. Native girl dancing on island boards submarine. Extra points. I'm not going to say anything. Ocean floor rises each time required number of helicopters destroyed. Am I picking a group of games for a reason? There's not really, there's not really a theme to the rest of this. We're, we're mostly looking at games from 1979 and 1980. Uh, sometimes there's like little little minor themes, but uh, we're just kind of we're just kind of going through chronologically. Since uh, since Sheriff kind of had a 1979 and a 1980 re release, it kind of bridged the uh, bridged the years there. Oh, look at that blood red sky. And the green stars. Alright, that's me. Yeah, it's, uh... It's, this is... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got a gradient going on. Yeah, I guess it's... It's kind of pleasant to look at, I guess. Nope. So they're actually firing stuff at me. Now it's getting, it's getting mad. Well, it's, it's playable. Ah, fuck. No, it's not. Fuck this game. Is that the last one? Wait, those things are releasing bullets on their own? Can I just... I can't destroy those, okay. Oh shit, this turned into a bullet hell all of a sudden. You can only have one shot on the screen at a time, by the way. attack pattern. Oh. Yeah, the depth charges are shooting their own bullets. So yeah, a lot of these a lot of these early Space Invaders slash Galaxian style games were you can only fire one screen a one one shot on screen at a time. They didn't want you to be too powerful. So, I mean, it kind of changes things up by having stuff, like, come at, coming at you from the sides. Because you can, you can move up and down. So there's, there's kind of, kind of things going on. Shit. You gotta stay here and snipe these guys. Oh, am I gonna get hit? Oh! Shots disappeared. 
floor keeps coming up. But wait, I thought they said something about a, a native babe. Have I not... Did they take that out? <laughs> Is that that was supposed to happen after the, uh, the final wave, right? Oh man, budget cuts, and uh, they had to cut it out at the last second. is shaped like boobs. Wait, the submarine's flying! Whoa! What was up with the, the colors on that bonus 500? Now we get hot jams for the rest of the game? <laughs> that was a really small island! What was she doing there? Aww. Yeah, maybe the uh, maybe the background isn't one hundred percent accurate. It is possible. Like some of these uh, some of these old games have like weird uh, weird hardware stuff that hasn't been figured out yet. Obviously, like there's some games that don't even have don't even have sound. Or sometimes there's like stuff that can't really can't really be dumped per se. Not bad, but it's a little a little simplistic. Uh -oh. You got these tight gaps you gotta squeeze through. That's uh that's cool I guess. I think the problem is like the first three waves are easy. Like, the wave with the yellow helicopters is, like, the only part that really poses much of a threat when you know what you're doing. Once you know, you, you should always be staying in the middle of the screen. So you don't get sniped. But maybe it's getting harder and harder. Kind of putting like more shit in the bottom in the water. Oh, oh, that thing fired. Oh, I got one more left. Oh yeah, it does like raise the uh, the uh, the floor of the water. Although I don't know if I've like reached the uh, the top. If it keeps going. Oh wait, did Miyamoto do the art for Sheriff? I probably should have looked that up. Yeah. That game's good. Oh, I see what happened last time. Okay, so the those yellow depth charges, they don't fire until the yellow helicopters are on the screen, and that's what got me last time. So if there's any on screen, they won't fire until the yellows show up. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. I missed. And sometimes they just disappear. Too much, uh, too many sprites on the screen. VR one sun oh oh look at that hey now that's a dip switch make your own uh, your own favorite vibes. I guess one plus one bongo just for that. Wow, look at that. Look at this. There was a set too. Is there anything different in that version? It's a knob? That makes sense. Oh, what did that say at the beginning? Imperfectly emulated features, graphics and sound. Yeah. I don't know if there's anything different in this version. It doesn't... Uh, it's hard to tell. There we go. Oh, well, that's pretty neat. Why wasn't that featured on the flyer? Or did I did I gloss over it? Oh yeah, it affects the the like the lives counter at the bottom left, huh? You gotta like squint. I don't think I'm gonna play through to the the native girl again, but I don't know. It's it's all right. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if that dip switch really affected affected people's perception. That's the point. You gotta take a bath. Kinda torn. Pulls up, by the way. Let me put the I'm gonna have to like rewrite this. This whole explanation thing. Like as a three, it's it's yeah, it's another it's another Space Invaders knockoff, but it's uh it's playable enough. How like it does it does do like some things different from Space Invaders. You've got uh you've got stuff coming in from the sides and things like that. Well, Schubert, thank you for the raid. I mean. There were there were there were lots of Space Invaders likes. It doesn't cause physical pain to play. That is a good point. The uh uh it was not an awful experience to listen to. It is not gonna cause your your dog to start barking violently.
Anyway, uh, it was... Ooh. Jeez, it was neck and neck. 50% of the votes for three, 48% for two. Mm. All right, y'all, y'all peer pressured me. I think it's 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 fine for what it is. What kind of uh, what kind of scores were there for this on the uh, the main action replay page? I got like ten thousand something, seventy eight thousand five sixty from some uh, Japanese player. Second place is twenty thousand. 27,000 on the uh, the other set. Maybe I could beat that set two score if I got really good. <laughs> nah, it, it takes a while to play. It's it's fine. It's fine. I think it's... It's alright. Nintendo didn't make uh, too many games that were just complete dog shit. So... This one wins out. Okay, we got we got one mini theme we can do. We got one one tiny theme we can do.